package just arrived. I ordered it from uh, Gearbest, a uh, Furby H801. It's a little drone to fly indoors. It's a drone with a camera and I'm gonna unbox it. Put my glasses on. There's always some tape. It's it's a um, when I shake it I hear a funny noise. I hope it's all right inside. Whoa! That's what the noise is. Very tiny screws. You see? Those were in the box. That's not a good a good thing because they should be in the in this sack. And I think they are missing some screws. Because these are two. Where are they for? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna read the manual and then I'm gonna see where those screws are for. And what's in the box is this, the the drone itself and of course the remote control. And you see it's a attitude hold drone. where the screws are for to tighten the, this one on the remote control you see like this and there's the screw going Here's the place where I can place my phone. What else in the back? It, it's a little screwdriver and spare props. You see? That's always nice. And a charger cable. Now I'm not sure if batteries are included. It's always, most of the times, not always, but most of the times, you have to unscrew this to place a battery. Yes, three batteries. And I think it's a triple A. Yes, triple A batteries. Well, first I'm going to place the batteries and charge the battery from the drone. It's a 360 milliamps battery and the remote control has yes it's um, the trim buttons on and off switch and here are two buttons and you can push those two in so do I'm going to read the manual what the instructions so I can understand this. First I'm going to charge it. And this is what you see 
on your phone or tablet. All the different options which you can choose on and when you click on this one and on you get this extras automatic takeoff, automatic landing but what I like is this one you see you draw a line oh. you draw a line and the drone will fly that line so when you make a hoop like this the drone will fly it and do it like this that's very nice this is the remote control a very tiny remote control you see but that belongs to a tiny drone quadcopter this button here you see here is for uh, headless mode that's a very annoying beep that he gives when you put him on headless mode headless mode press short and when you press long it's a return to home it's return to home and this left throttle stick when you press that it's an automatic start so he flies away right when you when you press it for one second he flies And then the instruction says that it lands, but it doesn't land, it shut down the motors, so it falls out of the sky. So we'll watch out with that. Um, this is the photo and video button. Left is photo and right is the video. Here you have the indicator light and the power switch, you see. You have the speed switch, there's a right button, when you push that you can choose between low and high speed. And the 9, this one. They call that the rubber joystick, 360 rotations. So that's um, the flips. You push it and then you uh, pull, pull or push the right joystick forward towards you, left or right. I think that this is the safest indoor flyer because he, had, he has the prop guards but when you hit something like the door and here in the kitchen or some clothing then it, it keeps flying It's um, pretty windy today. But despite the wind, 
I want to show the footage of the camera because it's a cheap drone. You cannot expect that it's a 4K quality, high definition, but for the price, I think that the quality of the camera is pretty okay. I'm sorry for the shakiness, but that's the wind.